Studies have shown that 53% of people are unsatisfied with their way of life. So, what can we do to get ahead of this in our lives? I'm going to share five Zen secrets that will get you ahead of dissatisfaction, and you can do it just by giving one hour a day to yourself. Being consistent with yourself each day start to finish in order to feel good about your life is as exhausting as it can get. You can search on YouTube how to be more productive or how to have more discipline and motivation, but that is not going to help you like shifting how you view consistency. Once I adopted a few Japanese Zen philosophy in my way of life, I unlocked more of my consistency that led and is leading me to a better way of life than before. Trying to hustle your way through and take on more and more is just going to burn you out and make you want to quit. That's why I want to share with you the Zen secrets I found because not feeling accomplished or as if you're moving the needle forward makes us feel depressed about our situation, anxious about what needs to get done and clueless on what to do. So in the end, you soft quit. You're spending a bit more time catching up on the next episode or film out on your favorite streaming platform. Or you lay down with your phone above your face, do scrolling past funny TikToks and reels until you feel your body sinking into the bed beneath you. Even with strong conviction to get things moving on in your life, there are just times when it doesn't feel that way. Instead, it feels like others are moving past you. As if somehow they figured something out that you don't know and they don't struggle with days where the needle wasn't moved one bit. The problem here isn't being distracted or a lack of motivation. It's a lack of knowing what moves you closer to your goals and an acceptance of your individual contribution to them. And this is exactly where Zen comes in. Last year, during my sister's visit to me in Japan, I revisited Kyoto, a city known for its 200 plus Buddhist temples and Shinto shrine. Here, I rediscovered the secret that has helped me be more focused and reach my goals. And you don't even have to come to Japan and visit the city to understand what I'm going to tell you in this video. One day while exploring, we went to the kind of countryside forested outskirts and walked to Ryoanji Temple. It's most known for its beautiful dry rock garden in this Buddhist temple. The temple grounds were not so busy and there were plenty of spots to stop and have a moment to take in the view of the scenery and also take a few calm deep breaths. At the dry rock garden, I sat down overlooking the area with my shoes neatly placed beside me. I was able to observe the beautiful scenery and focus on the calm rock patterns before me. I thought about all the monks who regularly come and sit down breathing calmly with their eyes closed deep in meditation. And I realized that this wasn't just for monks. The calm power that I felt resonate within me is now the secret that is propelling me forward today. Even scientific studies know about the numerous mental and physical health benefits of practicing meditation, which originated in China and spread to Japan, Vietnam, Korea, and more recently to the West. These studies suggest that Zen meditation can alleviate anxiety and stress. It can reduce your perception of pain and enhance focus and productivity at work. They're all great things, but leaving Kyoto and returning from my trip back home brought me back to a quote unquote normal life with my head schedule filled with meetings, work obligations, and personal commitments. So honestly, finding time to meditate really seemed daunting, but I decided to make a personal sand dry kind of garden for my own experiences at home with Zen meditation. Drawing and meditating over the patterns provided a perfect teaching ground for the secrets of Zen that have changed my life. Now I've been committed to practicing Zen in my way to live a better life and also reach my goals. I've spent years here living in Japan and absorbing the philosophy here and I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned so you won't have to study like I did. But I promise you, you'll still be able to apply Zen to your life. To start out, when you think of Zen, you could think of meditation especially because that's how I was first introduced to it too. And it's a practice I do to this day. However, at its core, meditation isn't that much of a secret to help unlock a better life. Zen, on the other hand, can be broken down into several paths, and that's where the secret to change your life is. Secret number one, it can't be helped. In Japanese, this is shoganai, and it's particularly used to dissolve frustration caused by factors out of your control. For example, when you walk into a shop just to buy one item, but somehow the person in front of you has 100 items, and you end up waiting. What was supposed to be a quick trip for you turned out to be this mildly inconvenient and annoying experience. 
This secret of Zen teaches us that our power to impact the things around us is limited. So it's better to accept inconveniences as they come and brush it off. You just posted a new YouTube video that only got a few likes and views. Shogunai. You need to go out and buy art supplies for your project, but it's raining today. Shogunai. You're too busy with work. And on weekends, you're asked by your family to help out around the house. So it's hard to find time to work on your passions. Shogunai. To accept this secret Zen, you need to begin accepting that you have power over what bothers you and what to do next. Your power is not to make everything go according to plan. Life is going to throw curveballs, so you need to be prepared to go with the flow, adapt, and change. Those who are most willing to change and adapt are the ones who unlock more joy and progress towards their goals and dreams. A way you can practice this is to write down what annoys you in a day, and then you find the silver lining. After that, brush it off because in the big picture, it won't stop you from getting to where you want to go in life. Secret number two, perfection is the enemy of good enough. In Japanese, this is wabi-sabi, finding the beauty and imperfection, and it's used to find acceptance and your purpose in life. Although my experience here with Japanese people is more that they strive really hard for perfection and shy away from making mistakes. Despite that, the teaching of wabi-sabi is all around us without us even realizing it. Think of the restaurants, cafes, and events that you visited recently. They're established and many people come to enjoy it, but that doesn't make their business perfect or what they're doing to move forward perfect. These places have a lot of failures underneath the success you see as a customer. Being good enough has made them successful, not being the perfect place. If you think of anyone you admire, maybe a teacher or an actor, I think of my 8th grade math teacher who really accepted my shyness and helped me cut through those barriers. Do these people have everything together? They're successful or a teacher for a reason, right? But that just means that they're good enough to get the job done. No matter how perfect you think they are, they're not perfect. When you strive for perfection or spend so much time incubating ideas, planning, rehearsing, and absorbing information so that you can somehow understand the absolute best way to move forward and do something, that's when you are also hurting yourself the most. The dopamine you get from learning rather than doing tricks you to think that you're moving forward, but sooner or later you still feel like nothing clicked. Good enough is doing with what you've already learned and planned so that you can experience it. You need to experience the success and shortfalls that will come. Good enough will let you step into the area of life you need to be in. This secret zen is about accepting that you are not perfect and never were expected to be perfect. You're encouraged to contribute in a way that you know how to and that's all. Secret number three. Be both a solid rock and moving water. This one's a bit strange, so bear with me. The dry gardens in Japan are made of rocks and sand and are drawn in patterns to mimic ripples of moving water. The final result is a still capture of movement. This is what it means to be both solid rock and moving water. Know your goals, what you want and what you don't want, and know when to change or adapt to keep moving forward. This secret is crucial for unlocking a better life and getting shit done and feeling good about the progress you make no matter how little. You see, people often don't know how much movement they're making because they don't have any way to track their progress. Some people, they can make plans with milestones and see the details to move forward. But if you're like me, then that's nearly impossible to do because I am not a detail-oriented person and I accept that. But I do clearly know what I want and what I don't want. This means that anything I do that is in line with what I want, I make note that I did move forward. If I do anything that is not in line with what I want, I try and stop or adapt and change to not get myself to be set back. This secret is not about always being turned on to where your goals are. It's about accepting that even small progress and commitment is a contribution to your future. You do not have the capacity nor the energy to be everything you need every day. You have to move and adapt. Shape what you can do today that will contribute to your tomorrow. And accept that big or small, you're doing it. In the description, you'll find a download link to what I use to practice a this particular secret. And as you're doing that, go ahead and leave a like on this video as well. It's something to keep track of a few things you can do each day to move yourself forward in your goals. 
The purpose is not a task list or to keep track of everything you're doing, but it's to give yourself credit for the progress you're making. It visualizes that for you so you can actually praise yourself for all the little things that you're doing. And if you're interested in that, then check the link that's in the description below. Secret number four, discipline and motivation do not exist. You exist. It does not matter how you feel or what you do so long as you are being you. Only you have the ability to contribute to your life. Don't fight yourself trying to find discipline or motivation. You need to accept your identity and step into it because when you do, you'll find that things start flowing naturally. There's not a need to be disciplined or motivated when you are naturally doing what you do. You exist is accepting the natural path you create. When you spend your energy fighting yourself to be more disciplined and beating yourself up for not doing much today, you stop accepting who you are. You move at your pace, not the pace of others. And yes, you can have good days or bad days, but that does not change how you progress. You'll find that when you accept this Zen secret to exist as you naturally do, more things will fall into place. Think of the flower. It doesn't fight itself on when to bloom or which direction to bloom in. It does what is natural and the wind and bugs take care of pollinating and showing up as needed. Think of the dark clouds in the sky before a rainstorm. It doesn't fight to hold in any precipitation on deciding when to let it rain. It does what is natural and it rains precisely when it is ready to. This secret zen will be what helps you accept your accomplishments. Secret number five, let go and heal. The pathway to your goals and dreams is to let go of your frustration and hurt. Letting go simply means to notice your emotions and how to move in a more positive emotion. Unlocking your better life and reaching your goals faster than before takes the ability to know what you're feeling. If you're holding on to frustration, guilt, anger, and other low emotions, they'll end up dictating your day more than you realize. Finding a release for yourself helps you step into a state where you're more content, joyful, and eager to take on more of your goals. You'll find that when you feel shitty, you don't get shit done. This secret zen is all about taking care of yourself so you're in a state to move forward. Still water becomes stagnant. It holds all that falls into it without any way to release or clean itself. In all my years living here in Japan, I've had plenty of time to notice and absorb all of these zen secrets. Not a quick fix, it's a way of life and a better life at that. So if you really want to change your life in 356 hours, then I hope you give yourself at least one hour a day to shape these Zen secrets into your way of life. Because ultimately, these are the things that were not taught to us in school or told to us by our parents or mentors. These are things we tend to discover for ourselves through having hard experiences. But I've just taken over 10 years of my experience living here in Japan and gave it to you in a way that you could easily accept it. In this video here, I wanted to share how I figured things out as a multi-passionate person. You see, when I first started practicing more Zen in my life, I realized I was a multi-passionate person who struggled to juggle all the different projects and directions that I wanted to go in. But I've also been able to figure that out more and so now it's not as frustrating as it was before. And you can hear more about that by watching that video. 